The new school year has finally arrived, and that means it's officially time for parents to start packing lunches again, which could feel like a chore for some. So how can you make them something that's quick and easy but also nutritious? The woman got hung up on some branches and then found her way to a makeshift place where she could sit in the river. She needed help but had to wait patiently for her rescue. Had a little bit of trouble locating her. They couldn't really give us a good location, so we had people searching all up and down the river here in Struthers. Once the fire department found her, they needed to pick the best point to reach her. They did, and put a firefighter in a wetsuit to go out and start the rescue. We sent a guy with, on a rope out to her. He was able to assess her for injuries. She was not hurt, but the rescue was really just beginning. A life vest was put on her and tied to a rope. There was no easy way out. They tried pulling them together, but found out that causes drag, and one person starts to sink. That stuff I learned back when I was a lifeguard in high school was, you know, you have to defend yourself against the person you're rescuing a lot of time because they don't know they're doing it, but they're going to fight to stay above water to do whatever they have to do. So they changed the approach and were able to pull the woman in alone. It just took time, but it worked. She reached shore safe and sound. Her friends were waiting, thankful that she was okay. Kayaking looks like it's going to become a big thing. Uh, this could obviously become a issue for us, Youngstown, Lowville, and all the surrounding communities that have to deal with the river.